This story has just been a mystery. More than a month after a 20-year-old autistic man disappeared from Scottsdale. The FBI now is teaming up with Scottsdale police to try to find this young man. And his family is doing whatever it takes to find him as well, 24-7. Our Justin Lum dives into the case in this edition of Fox 10 Investigates Missing in Arizona. Mr. Nice Guy. Hello, Mr. Nice Guy. If you truly know Najib Monsif Jr., the fish house. We're at the fish house. This then you know him as Juby. Are in the ocean next to the ocean. Yeah. Juby has autism. At 20 years old, his family says he has the mental capacity of an eight year old. But they describe him as smart and kind. He loved to play video games and he adored his puppy. And if you ask Juby's older sister, Josephine, to know him is to love him. Just a very happy kid who knows that his family loves him, is surrounded by so much love, sometimes an overwhelming amount of love. Right now, his family is broken. The young man they call their heart mysteriously vanished in the night. Right now, if I say it's a nightmare, it's understatement. Since September 23rd, loved ones fear Juby is in real danger. His father, Najib Sr., saw him last. I saw him at around 2 o'clock on Thursday morning, and he's gone. That's at 7 o'clock in the morning. I check on his, on his bed. He's gone. Juby's family is adamant that someone kidnapped him from his Scottsdale home near Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard in Via Linda. Police search the neighborhood door to door. How we start these investigations is kind of from the house um, in concentric circles out. And so we look, we'll, we knocked on doors, uh, over 500 different homes we've contacted, we've searched backyards. Um, the desert area, there's a canal that runs nearby. Detective John Heinzelman says SPD has already used a multitude of resources. Um, helicopters, drones, we had um, search and rescue crews that were on horseback and on ATVs. We had, um, we had search dogs, so we had, we had scent dogs. We also had specifically trained um, cadaver dogs. And it's if he just vanished. During the initial search, police dogs tracked Juby sent to this Albertsons about a half mile away from his home. And detectives have scoured the area for any credible surveillance images of Juby. But so far, not one sighting of Juby in this area. But we do believe that he's that he must have received some help from somebody to get himself out of the neighborhood. Because my brother doesn't have the capability, physically or mentally, to do this on his own, to survive out there with just the clothes on his back, he doesn't drive. It, we knew that day that someone was involved, whether they took him, he got in a car, who knows. Juby left home without his wallet and cell phone. He wore moccasins, but something he said to family members stands out. The day before he went missing, he said to my mother and my brother separately that they would never see him again. Um, he waved it off both times, you know, didn't mention it again. Josephine says her little brother has said similar things in the past, and those statements have been taken with a grain of salt, she says. Bottom line, Juby is vulnerable, and his sister believes he's with someone. Someone as evil as this person to take advantage of someone with autism knows that they are dealing with a child, someone who can't defend themselves, someone who can't properly take care of themselves. Lori McElwain is the co-founder of the National Autism Association. Since 2009, her team has been collecting data on missing people with autism. There is a, a steady increase of, of individuals going missing. Mostly it is kids, but we are seeing a lot of adults going missing too. Depending on how they are impacted by autism. Each person with autism is unique. Experts say no two people on the spectrum are the same if they're missing. McElwain tells me the risks vary. If they are a little bit more higher functioning, um, usually somebody else is involved. If they're lower functioning, usually it's drowning or traffic injuries. 
uh, that are the highest risk. Juby's the third oldest of four and enjoyed playing PS4 online with his brother George who attends the University of Arizona. They're best friends. We asked Detective Heinzelman if Juby could have been lured by a stranger through online gaming. He says Juby didn't chat with anyone using text or voice while playing. According to George, he very rarely spoke other than to George. Most of the time he would actually take his, his, uh, his microphone and just put it up and get it out of the way. Heinzelman says police have subpoenaed Sony and Twitter for communication records from Juby's accounts. Meantime, Juby's family says they won't rely on law enforcement alone, taking to social media for the past month to sound the alarm daily with a Facebook group of thousands of members helping the cause. Josephine constantly does interviews to spread awareness. It's now a dire situation. My brother has autism. He cannot take care of himself. It's so emotionally draining. I mean, to even have to talk about the worst thing that's happening in your life all day, every day, but you know you have to because if this reaches the right person, that's all I need to keep doing it. Scottsdale police say the FBI is now assisting in the search for Juby. All the Monsef family wants is Juby home. He's the most special one among the four kids. And always he's so special. I love all of them, but he was the center of this family. It's heartbreaking to deal with the pain in yourself, let alone see it in your family's eyes let alone your parents' eyes. We don't even know what to do with ourselves. And besides put all of our energy into this, and you know, a piece of my heart is gone. In Scottsdale, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News. There's a couple distinct details about Juby to look for. If you wanna help, he shuffles steps when he walks and sometimes pulls his shirt up over his face. Juby's family is working with the Anti-Predator Project and raising funds to hire a private investigator to help get his missing poster on several billboards right now. If you'd like to help as well, you can scan the QR code on your screen right here using your mobile device, or you can just visit fox10phoenix.com missing. While you're there, you can also learn more about other missing persons cases in Arizona.